Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Alabama Reloader here. Uh, just wanted to update uh, the 6mm Creedmoor um, bladder test that we did. This is, it's been a while back now, but I finally was able to get out to the range. Um, get out to the range, and well actually over at my brother's house. Was able to get out there, the weather uh, was finally halfway decent on a weekend here in North Alabama. Um, seems like it's been raining every single weekend for God knows how long. Uh, finally got a decent decent Sunday in and I went was able to get a lot of shooting done. Uh, shot 11, so that here these are 11 three shot groups for the six millimeter Creedmoor. On our ladder test results, we showed that with H4350, uh, we're shooting the the 95 grain uh, Burger VLD hunting bullet. Um, on that, we showed that 41 to 42 grains between those those two ranges there, 41 up to 42. That was our accuracy window for the Ruger uh, Ruger American Predator that I have. So loaded everything up, um, started at 41 and went up to 42 grains in tenth of a grain increments so the top left uh top left right there that one that group that's 41 uh, and then it just goes from left to right uh next 41.1 41.2 so on and so forth uh the middle the middle uh, right there that guy that's 41.5 and then of course it starts 41.6 right there and goes left to right so um all in all, really good day shooting. Um, with I was very pleased with how the groups turned out. Um, looks like there's a little bit more of a spread to some of these than there actually is. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at these groups. Uh, the worst group that I had was 41.5. So right there in the center of the the head, there is 41.5 grains of H4350 and that group came out to measure uh, 0.844 inches so less than uh, less than one inch there so sub MOA that was the worst group of the day the best group that we had was actually this this one right here that's 41.9 uh, and again these are only three shot groups so uh, I'll validate all of this using five shot groups moving forward but I just didn't I didn't want to burn you know 55 rounds of this box because I mean, these things aren't cheap so I didn't want to burn 55 rounds um, confirming ladder test results but 41.9 was the best group it measured 0 0.171 inches on a three shot group uh, so I was very pleased with that had, had a lot of really good groups um, uh, we had 0 0.171, we had a 0 0.356, a 0 0.285, 0 0.381, 0 0.476, uh, 0 0.291. I mean, we had, so we had a, a lot of really good groups. Um, and again, the worst one was 0 0.844. So couldn't be happier with these, with these results. Uh, and I was shooting, uh, yeah, I don't have my shooting rest now that I've been using this entire time. I uh, actually made the mistake, left that in the back of my truck the last time I was at the range and got home, had to take something out of the back of the truck, forgot to, sh uh, forgot to shut the tailgate, left it in the back, um, and now it is somewhere on the highway uh, in Huntsville or Madison or somewhere in that nature. So somewhere in that area. Um, I was going to the gym that night and forgot to take it out. And then when I got home, uh, it was nowhere to be found and then go back and start looking couldn't find it so it scattered somewhere uh, in pieces or, or somebody picked it up or something um, but yeah so lost it it was a sportsman's guide the guide gear uh, shooting rest that's the one that I've been using for a couple of years now I like it quite a bit um, I don't shoot really heavy recoil rifles so I mean the 450 Bushmaster that's uh, and that's fair that's a fairly recent uh, purchase that's the that, that's the hardest kicking rifle that I own and it kicks pretty good 
but other than that, I mean, it was mostly 308 prior to that. So I mean, 308, six millimeter Creedmoor, 223, and you know, those type, those type rifles. So not not heavy on the recoil. So the guide gear shooting rest worked great for what I was doing. Uh, you know, if you're going to be shooting you know, more of a heavy recoil setup, magnums or something of that nature, then you probably uh, you might want to go with something a little more robust. The where you place the the butt of the gun, like on a lead sled, yeah, you know, it's a solid piece that you that you set your rifle into um, that the butt of the rifle goes into. Well, on the on the guide gear, the way it's set up is basically like a, a leather piece that the gun sits into, sort of just holds it there in place, and it's sewn together. And so the more wear and tear, the more shooting you do, you know, the more recoil that thing feels. It's gonna, it's going to stretch those seams. It's, it's going to bust. I mean, my dad's, he, he had one as well. He still has it, but his busted. He had to tape it up uh, to hold it back together. So, I mean, you know, it's not the most robust thing in the world. So, But it did good for what I needed to do right up until I lost it. Uh, so this was shooting off of rest like, let's see if I can, that. That's what I was shooting off of um, today. So I had one under the fore end of the rifle and one under the butt um, and that's it so that was all the support that I had so so these groups um, I was extremely pleased with them but they could have been either better or worse you know I tried to be as consistent as possible on every group with my point of aim um, I felt like I did an okay job overall I feel like some of these groups might have been a little bit tighter um, had I had a shooting wrist an actual something that I could have strapped a gun into uh, but at the same time, you know, some of the really tight groups, they may have opened up a little bit, right? Maybe I, maybe the way I was shooting today, um, not having the gun, you know, locked into a rest or something, maybe I moved in favor, right? Where the group actually tightened up based based on one way or the other that, that I moved, so holding the rifle. So, I mean, it, you know, it, it's neither here nor there, but uh, really good results overall. So I'm pleased with this. We'll stick with, it looks like 41.9. Um, 41.9 grains because I mean really I, I think I mean you're you're good with just about any anything 41 to 42 after that. that's basically what these results show and especially above 41.5 um, you know starting at 41.6 that was a 0.285 group uh, 41.7 was 0.381 41.8 was 0.570 41.9.171 and then 42 was 0.538 so you know just barely over uh just barely over half moa right i mean that's that's it's not too bad especially not being locked into a wrist so but that's the update on the six millimeter creedmoor so we're going to stick with 41.9 grains moving forward um that'll be our one of our hunting rounds that we load up in that gun so that's it, just wanted to bring you guys the ladder test results. Um, once we found the accuracy window, this is this was the, the test results for the accuracy window from our ladder test. So I appreciate you guys checking out the, the videos and the channel. So I really appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.